वेलकम टू दी क्लासिक एजुकेशन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर आर वी चिटगोपी फ्रॉम क्लासिक के एस एंड आई एस स्टडी सर्कल वीवर्स टूडे आई एम विथ ए सब्जेक्ट विच इज थ्रिलिंग एक्साइटिंग एंचांटिंग हेयर फॉर यू my subject of discussion today is unesco mountain rails of india unesco as you know that is an organization with its headquarters as the paris in france and it is the agency of united nations organization it has recognized many historical heritage cultural sites in india and also the biodiversity national parks of india considering various parameters so looking at this here on the parameter of the science and technology here the three mountain rails of india are included in the unesco world heritage site so i'll be discussing here with you here with these three mountain rails of india so these three mountain rails are darjeeling himalayan rail in the state of west bengal the second one is kalka simla express which runs in the state of haryana and himachal pradesh and the third one is the nilgiri express in the state of tamil nadu so these three mountain rails are today in the unesco list we will be knowing about these here the trains and the thrilling journey of these trains so these trains were developed during the british colonial rule in india in the 19th century as you know that the britishers used to spend their summers in the hill stations of india because uh, here uh, if you take uh, kolkata madras or uh, delhi they are having a scorching heat so they prefer to go during the time of summer to hill stations most of the hill stations in india were uh, developed during the time of uh, the british the earliest approach to these hill station was the road transport however the britishers felt to make this journey to the hill station more exciting and surrounded in the nature here they preferred to travel that's why they laid down these railway lines for the exciting journey through the nature the railway lines were laid down so these three hill station darjeeling shimla and udagamandalam or popularly known as uti were all developed in the 19th century here by the britishers as their residences during the summer period and to approach this here they laid these railway lines however today these trains are the economic life of uh, the locals the local people the native people their economy is completely based on these uh, here the railways apart from this these railways have become a tourist attraction today annually foreign and domestic tourists here make their travel through these uh, trains this is in a life one time excitement and enjoyment so one has to in his lifetime here take a journey of these here rails these rails are run by the steam power the steam locomotives are used and now we find some diesel locomotives have been also used and they travel on the narrow gauge rail that makes these trains to be called with a pen name as the toy train this is the popular word used 
for these trains, the toy train. And we are going to study here, know about these trains in our session today. And remember, here, viewers, friends, that these trains are very popular in our Bollywood movies. Many film songs have been shot on these rails and I uh, will be referring to some of the here the famous immortal songs of our Bollywood here when I take each here train for the discussion. Friends, so let us begin the journey here by these mountain rails. These mountain rails, we are going to start our journey. Come, join with me. Among these mountain rails, the oldest mountain rail is the Darjeeling Himalayan Rail. Darjeeling Himalayan Rail is the oldest mountain rail. The Here, the train journey here through this, which is around about 88 kilometers from New Jalpaipuri to Darjeeling. The journey is, the distance is 88 kilometers. On the narrow gauge rail, the steam locomotives are used and the train travels. The railway line were laid down in 1878 when Lytton was the viceroy. And it was completed in 1881 when Ripon was the viceroy. So the first journey of this here was started in 1881. And uh, initially it was up to Siliguri. From Siliguri to Darjeeling the train travelled. But now you find the distance has been here expanded and now from New Jalpaipuri to Darjeeling it is. And New Jalpaipuri which is in the here the state of West Bengal, it is what we have connected with other cities and mainly it is connected with Calcutta, which is most convenient for the travelers here to visit the new Jalpaipuri. From Calcutta, they can travel to new Jalpaipuri, then they take this train and travel to Darjeeling. So this is here how the mainly you can approach new Jalpaipuri there. So it was in 1881 the journey had started and still here this train is in presently also running condition and a very popular destination. The train takes round about 7 hours to reach Darjeeling from New Jalpaipuri to here Darjeeling it takes near 7 hours. So it starts from the altitude of 100 meters and it goes to the height of 2300 meters. So this is how the journey is. And it is passes through many villages, small towns, hamlets, where you find here the people standing beside the train and selling eatables, selling fruits, shawls, sweaters. So it is exciting to know the culture of these people. So another very, here the excitement to the mainly travelers by this train is here you can get down from the train here buy the eatables, buy the fruits, buy the shawl and easily get back to the train. So it moves at a very slow speed and that is the enjoyment here for the travelers. Later it enters here are the dense evergreen forests surrounded with the snow clad mountains, the Himalayas. And it makes its journey. It travels through here the natural surroundings. The travelers feel that they are entering here a fairy land. That is the feeling what the travelers get. It is here brings peace to the mind of the travelers. So this journey is mainly the stress relief to the travelers. Though it is consuming here a lot of time, but it is worth traveling by this train. One of the important 
here the destination here in the journey is the place called ghum just it is 5 kilometers before darjeeling ghum is located 5 kilometers before darjeeling so that is one of the most exciting thrilling enchanting here the place the travelers should not miss this particularly the site so it is at ghum this train takes a sharp curve and stops for a few minutes and here the travelers will be in the front of the himalaya mountains and the kanchenjunga peak it will be in front of them here the travelers will be here mainly speechless during this period and later they are busy taking their photographs so this is one of the here the thrilling experience of this journey and then it departs the ghum and it moves to darjeeling darjeeling is the last destination darjeeling is the last destination of it and it was in 1999 the train was included in the unesco heritage site and uh, mainly the cost of the journey 1700 rupees for the ac chair and 1400 rupees here for the second class chairs and uh, ordinary chairs it is uh, 600 rupees so this is the journey but uh, remember here friends here the booking has to be done in well in advance there is a huge rush for this as uh, only few passengers can travel we cannot have uh, here uh, the mainly passengers like what we travel in our uh, mainly the other trains so limited passengers are allowed here so well in advance the booking has to be made and uh, during the rainy season this train will be not in operation and online booking is possible so online here the booking has to be done so this train here right from 1881 here this particularly here the train is running here between here these destinations in the west bengal and it has become a very popular here mainly the train in our bollywood movies many of the film songs in our bollywood movies have been pictureized on this here train to mention and uh, the most immortal song of a 1969 movie aradhana so we have got that immortal romantic song meri sapnon ki rani kab aayegi to this song here is pictureized on this train apart from this we have got uh, many other songs which have been pictureized but if today if we listen to this song immediately to our memory comes the train darjeeling himalayan rail so friends once in your lifetime you should experience this train it is here make up your mind here to here make a journey by this train with this here mainly i move to the next here mainly the mountain rail recognized by unesco so the next here train is the kalka simla express which runs in the state of haryana and himachal pradesh this is our next train which we are going to study the kalka simla express popularly called as the shivalik express it is also known as the shivalik express it is known so because here the major part of this journey of this train is through the shivalik mountain ranges of the himalayas hence it is popularly known as the shivalik express which starts 
it's a mainly journey from Kalka in Haryana state and travels here to Himachal Pradesh Simla covering a distance of 96 kilometers from an altitude of 650 meters it travels to the altitude of 2050 meters 96 kilometers and it takes six hours for the journey six hours here is taken for the journey there the Kalka Simla Express and this particularly here the Simla was the summer capital of the British right from 1864 it was a summer capital and usually the road was the most here popular transport to reach it however it was in here 1898 the Railway line was laid down between Kalka and Simla to reach their here summer capital. Kalka and Simla railway line here started the laying of the railway line and it was completed in 1903 when the Viceroy Lord Curzon flagged off this train. So it was Viceroy Lord Curzon was there in 1903 the journey of the Shivalik Express started. So this Shivalik Express here mainly passes through 107 tunnels, crosses 856 bridges, 856 bridges and here surrounded here are the pine and the oak trees, evergreen pine and the oak trees, the snow clad Himalayas. So it is in the midst of the nature the train travels. One feels that he has entered the heaven. It is just like traveling to the heaven, the paradise. This is here the mainly the thing, the enjoyment the travelers will feel when they travel by this mainly the train. And uh, the cost of the journey, the cost of the journey for this travel is for mainly first class, the first class here mainly our first class chair it is, it is costing nearly 1000 rupees and here the ordinary chair is costing around about here 600 rupees. And again the online booking is available for this train, again I would like to say here for the travelers who make up their mind to travel by this train, do the booking here as early as possible as early as possible and this train travels all the 12 months like uh, Darjeeling Himalayan Rail here it will be not uh, stopped during the rainy season it will be traveling all the here 12 months so here the online booking can be done here today here at your fingertips you have got here the booking of the tickets so do make up your mind Get refreshed yourself, move away from your stress life and prepare for this journey of Kalka Simla Express. Again to say, this train is also a popular here in our Bollywood movies for the songs. Many songs have been picturized on this train. But once again, I would like to remind the viewers, my friends, here that the 1974 movie called as Dost which had that immortal here song Gadi Bula Rahi Hai, Siti Baza Rahi Hai. So even till today that is a very popular song among the children. So this train, it is on this train the song sequence was picturized. So this is how Kalka Simla Express is a, one of the UNESCO recognized site and it was in 2008 Kalka Simla Express was included in the UNESCO list. And lastly I will come to the here a South Indian mountain rail that is here the Nilgiri Express in the 
state of Tamil Nadu. Popularly called as Blue Mountain Express. It is also known as the Blue Mountain Express. So, this train runs from Mettapalam to Udagamandalam in Tamil Nadu. Udagamandalam or Utakmanda or popularly in British period or even till today we call it as Uti. From Mettapalam to Uti this train travels a distance of 46 kilometers and takes around about 5 hours. The journey time is 5 hours. So from Mettapalam to Udagamandalam. So Uti was also one of the British developed air hill station in Tamil Nadu. And this train here railway line was laid down in 1907 and the journey started in 1908. Drawn by here the steam locomotives passing through the Nilgiri trees. So we see the mainly the forest of the Nilgiri trees, the plantations of the Nilgiri trees, the train passes through these Nilgiri trees. The here mainly the tea gardens, the tea gardens here are seen from this train. And we find many villages, towns pass by this mainly the journey. One feels the five hours has been over within here mainly the 50 minutes. So such an exciting thing is that and the train passes through 16 tunnels. 16 tunnels are there and it crosses around about 250 bridges. 250 bridges and here surrounded with the Blue Mountains, the Nilgiri Mountains, the train mainly here, here runs its journey there. So like this, the journey here in South India by this train here is a must to experience. The people must experience this train and it was also a popular here train in our Bollywoods. In our Bollywood here again many songs have been picturized on this train. But once again to remind the viewers the most popular because when I give you that name of the song and the movie immediately to your mind comes these trains. 1998 movie, 1998 movie Dilse which had that here the song Chaya Chaya Chaya. This was picturized on this mainly the train. So viewers, friends do experience here the journey by these trains and mainly Nilgiri Express was included in the UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2005. Today all these three Darjeeling Himalayan Rail, Kalka Simla Express and the Nilgiri Express together are clubbed as one UNESCO Mountain Rail Heritage Sites. So friends to end my journey, I would like to suggest here, do make a travel once in your life here by these trains. It is unforgettable. It is memorial. So make up your mind, prepare yourself and your family, your friends and here as soon as possible here think of planning a journey by these trains. With this, I will conclude my journey and I will take your leave. Once again, I will be back with you with another session. And I would like to say here, mainly keep watching Classic Education YouTube channel. Thank you.